While most of our history is lost to time, one thing about the human race is for sure, we've always loved tasty dishes. Cakes, pies, cheeses, and spices are all snacks that we enjoy today. But what you may not have realized is that those delicious comfort foods have equally tasty ancestors that are, in some cases, thousands of years old. Today on Weird History Food, we're going to introduce you to some popular dishes that are much older than we thought. Before we take a delicious voyage back in time, make sure you get a taste of what Weird History has to offer by subscribing to our channel. Then head to the comments section and tell us what other ancient meals you want to hear more about. For now, let's dish. If you're hungry for a stack of hotcakes, you need only to grab a box of Betty Crocker or find the nearest International House of Pancakes. So it might surprise you to know your pancake craving would be well accommodated during the Copper Age, around 5000 BC. That's because Italian scientists at the University of Innsbruck found some pretty convincing evidence that proves humankind has been snacking on flapjacks for at least five millennia before the first Christmas. For that evidence, we can thank Utzi the Iceman. He's a world-famous mummy discovered frozen in ice in the Italian Alps or Uztal Alps. Utzi lived about 5,300 years ago, but remarkably, his body was incredibly well-preserved when he was found in 1991. So much so that the mountaineers who found the body thought it was of some recent unlucky hiker. They presumably discovered he wasn't after checking to see if he had any money in his wallet. Several studies were done on this archaeological curiosity, including figuring out what his last meal may have been. By examining the contents of his stomach, scientists discovered remnants of red meat as well as cakes made from einkorn wheat. Because the cakes had charcoal on them, scientists deduced that these had indeed been cooked over a fire pancake style. So remember, whenever you enjoy a nice syrupy pile of griddle cakes, you're eating a large stack of history. From Asian cuisine to Italian pasta all the way to pool toys, who doesn't enjoy noodles? And while you may have figured noodles were old, you might be surprised to learn just how old they really are. Sort of like that last Tinder date you went on. As a matter of fact, China snagged the record not only for the first ever written description of noodles, but also the oldest physical noodles ever to be found. Yes, a touch older than the box of ramen you've moved to three apartments now. Sometime between 25 and 220 BC, the East Han Dynasty recorded the first written account of noodles in a dictionary. But the physical evidence came in the form of an upturned bowl at an excavation site near the Yellow River in northwestern China. The bowl formed a perfect seal around some noodles, preserving them for over 4,000 years and giving us the oldest confirmed version of the dish ever discovered. If you enjoy a nice hot tamale from time to time, just know that you're participating in a tradition over 7,000 years in the making. Both the Aztec and Mayan people were known to cook up tamales during their respective empires. Back then, tamales were made from something called masa, a dough made from ground corn. The masa was then stuffed with veggies and meats before being wrapped in large leaves or corn husks. The tasty tamale treats were then steamed until they reached that perfect toasty temperature. The tamales were especially enjoyed by soldiers as the handheld snack wraps were perfect for nibbling on the go. Kind of like stopping at a taco stand before the big battle. Pot pie has seen many iterations over the years, because every meal is better in pie form. And when we say over the years, we mean about 3,700 of them, way longer than Marie Callender's has been in business. Let's flash back to ancient Mesopotamia, where the pot pie is believed to have been birthed. Back then, pot pies weren't all that different from the recipes we enjoy today. They included bird meat, like any pot pie you'll find this side of the year 2000, but they also included some ingredients today chefs would typically leave out, such as the hearts, livers, and gizzards. Also, putting organ meat in the microwave where many modern pot pies are prepared seems vaguely illegal. Our culinary ancestors also liked their pot pies a bit more on the spicy side, as opposed to the savory pies we're accustomed to these days. Everything was capped off with a spiced crust, just like today, making the pot pie a timeless creation. Imagine, you're a world-class athlete and you're about to compete in the Olympic finals. What food do you eat before heading into the fray? Some fruit? A healthy granola bar? Well, if you're an ancient Greek, the answer was cheesecake. Just mountains of it. The first recipe for cheesecake came about around 2,000 years ago. It was made by combining some mild cheese with flour and honey. 
the ingredients were believed to provide energy to whoever ate it. So naturally, it was fed to athletes prior to their participation in the original Olympic Games. After the Romans conquered the Greeks, they also conquered their recipe for cheesecake because that's just what the Romans did. The Roman Empire was like a really hardcore Xerox machine. Some twists were added to the recipe though, including eggs and ricotta cheese to make it smoother. But the reputation for cheesecake being a superhuman snack was snuffed out after it did not assist the Greeks in being conquered. Maybe they should have added an Oreo crust. Bread is the wheel of food. Humans really nailed it with that one, and we've been chasing that high ever since. As one of the oldest human-created foods in the world, bread has seen thousands of variations as humans all over the world created their own versions. It was believed by scientists that people started baking bread some 10,000 years ago, right around the time humans started settling down and farming. But in 2018, an archaeologist was collecting artifacts from a 14,000-year-old fireplace in Jordan. In that fireplace were crumbs, not much different than what we would find at the bottom of a toaster. These crumbs were from the oldest known bread in the world, 4,000 years earlier than anyone originally thought. 14,000-year-old bread has some pretty major implications, primarily that humans were baking bread before agriculture was even invented, which suggests that bread itself may have been the reason humans settled down and began to farm in the first place, to grow our own grain for bread making. So while primitive humans were being nomadic hunters and gatherers, they were also busy in the kitchen whipping up some banana loaves. However, the labor involved meant bread would have been more of a treat than a daily staple for these extremely ancient humans. Corn, or maize, has been a go-to food for humankind for a long time. We're talking at least 10,000 years or more. So it makes total sense that eventually humans would find a way to turn it into something we can mindlessly shovel into our mouths during Wheel of Fortune. No! And while we know popcorn has been around for a while, scientists can't seem to pin down an exact time frame. However, ancient popcorn has been found on the floors of caves in Mexico. It's unclear what movie was being shown there, but presumably an older one, like Apocalypto. Puffed kernels of maize have also been found across Mexico, proving that popcorn has been around for quite a while, at least 4,000 years. And popcorn wasn't just a delightful treat for the Aztec people. It was also used in decorations, clothing, jewelry, and ceremonial statues. Once upon a time, someone looked at a beehive and thought, I'm gonna eat whatever those angry bugs are hiding. While we don't know the specifics of how the discovery of honey went down, we do know that it happened several millennia ago, at the very least, making honey an extremely old treat. The Egyptians were particularly fond of honey. 4,000-year-old hieroglyphics depicting beekeeping were discovered in ancient temples. King Tut even had pots of the stuff placed in his tomb to enjoy in the afterlife. Gotta respect a guy who gets buried with his favorite snack. But one leader of the Martkopi and Bedini people in what is now present-day Georgia was buried with what would become the oldest honey ever discovered. Jars full of wild berries were discovered in his tomb, with the berries themselves coated in a rich layer of bee juice. Mmm, honey-coated berries. This guy should have opened a store. Incredibly, the berries were still red and fragrant after being preserved in the honey jars for over 5,000 years. Ireland is lousy with bogs, which are wetlands with low oxygen and chilly temperatures that are just bubbling with acidity. All of these elements combined to make great improvised refrigerators for ancient people. When they wanted to keep something fresh, say a whole bunch of butter, they just hurled it into the bog. And these weren't Land O'Lake sticks of butter either. We're talking gigantic 20-pound hunks of bog's best butter. The oldest bog butter that has been discovered was over 5,000 years old and that was over 100 pounds of it. That's enough for several stacks of bog pancakes. Back in the day, butter was a luxury item that was used for trade, but could also be offered to gain favor with the gods, which is why these old-timey butterheads threw so much of it into their storage bog. If you open your cupboards right now, there's pretty good odds you'll see a bottle of olive oil in there. It's one of those all-purpose cooking ingredients that just seems to appear in your kitchen, whether you remember buying it or not. Would you be surprised to learn that people in ancient present-day Israel could say the same thing? Archaeologists found traces of olive oil on pottery from the Chalolithic site of Ein Zippori that they learned was over 8,000 years old. That's so long ago that researchers aren't even sure the olive plant had been domesticated yet back when those olives were first squeezed. But it does show that people from this period knew how to extract all that sweet, sweet oil to help make a mean grilled cheese. 
Interestingly, olive oil apparently hasn't changed much over the past couple of millennia. If it ain't broke. While most mammals don't usually drink milk beyond infanthood, humans dedicated an entire section of the food pyramid to the stuff. We even invented an entire meal that requires milk. Have you ever tried eating cereal dry? It tastes like punishment. We do know that consuming dairy became a common practice sometime after humans started domesticating livestock. There's evidence of cheese making occurring around 8000 BC in Mesopotamia Neolithic farmers. Concurrently, the Neolithic era was coming into its own with the development of pottery and ceramics, which helped bring cheese into reality. Ceramics and pottery helped with not only food storage and transport, but early versions of strainers, or sieves, emerged. With the warm Middle Eastern climate as well as naturally occurring regional bacteria, milk would quickly spoil, ferment, and coagulate. These curds would be the earliest foundation and version of the cheese that we all know and love today. So what do you think? Which of these foods' ancient histories surprised you the most? Let us know in the comments below, and while you're at it, check out some of these other weird history food videos.